I move to strike the last word. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I am a co-sponsor of this amendment and strongly support it. I also reject the underlying legislation and believe that um, all members of this committee should oppose this legislation. I'm disappointed that the consideration of women's health and medical safety needs have largely been absent from the ongoing conversation. All too often, women's voices are not heard, and we must not forget that this legislation will impact the lives of real women across the country. When I read through Section 2 of the legislation, I noticed there were 14 legislative findings, none of which included any mention of Congress's role in protecting the health and lives of pregnant women. I am pleased to co-sponsor this amendment with Representative Nadler to ensure that, in line with Roe v. Wade and longstanding Supreme Court precedent, abortion is permitted where necessary to protect the woman's life or health. This amendment reaffirms a basic premise of Roe v. Wade and longstanding Supreme Court precedent regarding access to safe and legal abortion. I think we should all be able to agree that Congress has a critical role to play in supporting women's health. Rather than focusing on this dangerous legislation, Congress should be protecting and investing in programs that are needed to ensure that all women, regardless of income or background, can access affordable care that they need to have healthier pregnancies. Instead, H.R. 1797 is a direct challenge to the protection of women's health that the Supreme Court provided in Roe v. Wade. H.R. 1797 bans abortions necessary to protect a woman's health and fails to recognize that many things can go wrong during a pregnancy. A woman's health could be at risk in ways that doctors, not Congress, are in the best position to evaluate and H.R. 1797 would force a woman and her doctor to wait until her condition was terminal to finally act to protect her health, but by then it may be too late. This restriction is not only unconscionable, it is unconstitutional. For four decades, the U.S. Supreme Court has recognized that Congress must make exceptions that permit abortion when necessary to protect a woman's health or life. In a um, so when we focus on legislation that comes between women and their doctors, we are allowing Congress, instead of doctors, to set medical protocol. We should all be concerned that women's health and medical safety needs are being ignored by this bill and le will leave doctors unable to provide their patients with the best quality of care. H.R. 1797 fails women and their families, and I urge my colleagues to support this amendment pr to protect women's health, and I yield back. Are there any others seeking recognition?